Agents of Suit, From Badger to Worse, by John Patrick Green, Christopher Hastings, and Pat Lewis. The sun rises on another day in the beautiful, bustling <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> buffalo? Is that a buffalo bank robber? <laughs> Better believe it. But this is an orderly city. This mere hiccup of crime will be solved momentarily. See, the police have arrived and will make this bandit burglar biker stop spinning his wheels. Ahem. Surely the police will make the burglar stop. Maybe not. Ah! <laughs> Definitely not. Dang it. Now I gotta call the Viper. The Viper? Yeah. He vipes the windshield. When did you get that accent? Hello, window Viper. What? There. Then. Sorry. I don't work on Wednesdays. Can you do Thursday? Great. See you then. What accent? Whoa, who's that? It's the buffalo owner. A buffalo brute who gives bikers a bad name. I'm glad he's a loner. We don't need bad boys like him in our crew. We're good boys. <laughs> Freeze, you ruffians! We're not ruffians. We were only saying rough. My wife does say I can be a little rough around the edges. You're under arrest for aiding and abetting a buffalo a bank a robber. Oh, come on. We were just saying he's not with us. The buffalo owner acts alone. It's in his name. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm, that'll keep those coppers off my tailpipe. Still, the buffalo owner is a fool to commit a crime in this town. Any second, the investigators, Mango and Brash, will be hot on his tail. Hot? I wish. It's freezing. We're not actually in town at the moment. Shoo! You'll spoil our cover. We don't know what, but these penguins are up to something fishy. Besides what they made us eat for lunch. <coughs> Now that refreshments have been served, let's get down to business. Do you have the ice? Uh, sure. There's plenty of ice. Not that ice. The hot ice. Do you mean water? I mean stolen! Why would you need to steal ice? It's everywhere. Diamonds! Stolen diamonds! To fence! Oh, of course! I don't see a fence nearby. That's okay. Suit has more than its all-star alligator agents. Cilantro the chameleon can catch that cunning crook. Sorry, I can't. See Orb and I. Are in space. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everyone leave the buffalo near a loner. The A team is on assignment. The C team is occupied. Is anyone not too busy to bust this bothersome bison? Oh, I know. Send in the B team. Thank you, narrator. We'll take it from here. You've almost got him, Marsha. Just a little lower. The B stands for badger. Not backseat driver, Bongo. Harumph! I'm merely trying to help. Stooty. <laughs> Buffalo like planes, not planes. Don't sweat. The best is net to come. Oh, not today. Ow. That's net very nice. Oh. Now I know why they're called skyscrapers. This jet is just too jumbo. Tisk tisk, Marsha. A great artist never blames their tools, and a great secret agent never blames their vehicle. Then pick another vehicle and see if you can do better. Time to take this chase downtown. As in, down to the ground. <laughs> This isn't the motorbike. I've changed my mind. I'm blaming the vehicle. Swoosh.
Ha-ha! I did grab the right mechanical steed purely by instinct. Instinct? More like you stink. Oh! <laughs> Marsha, through, um, no fault of my own, I need another vehicle. Oh, ho, ho. the only thing that can make bank robbing more fun is fewer people. But with all this cash, I can finally give up this lonely life on the road and spend some time alone. Hold on, Bongo. I can't find the button for the launch bay. Bay leaves? Old bay? Wait, these aren't the cockpit instructions. It's a recipe for boiled crabs. Ah, there it is. Vehicle dropping, but you'll have to catch up. Uh, 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 yes, I know. <laughs> Marsha, you've sent the snowmobile. And I don't think that's going to be very useful. Unless you saw a forecast for some sudden freak uh, downfall. Yes! Marsha, you dumped out a whole garage! Apologies, Bongo. I couldn't find the manual because someone left a cookbook in the cockpit. I'll have you know, my personal collection of world-renowned recipes is no mere cookbook. It is a culinary compendium of- Just get in! <laughs> That's the crook! Do you see? Please, Bongo. I am perfectly capable of recognizing a buffalo riding a motorcycle on my own. We shall have him in custody post-haste. Excellent. Wait, if you're down here, who's flying the jet? <laughs> Cookbooks don't know how to fly! It could have made an effort. Oh well. We'll get another one. Let's see if they can steer and shop at the same time. We've Ooh. almost got them. Time for a trusty gizmo to close the distance. All this talk of cookbooks and zoo bananas is making me hungry. Look out! Ah, crepes! Crepes? Where? Do you see a crepe stand? He said crepes, not crepes. Get your head out of the grocer. No, I don't think you're right. Maybe we passed it. I'll take that. Hey, if you want money, go find your own bank to rob. What are you doing? Sorry, honey. Don't sorry, honey, me. I'm not your honey. Not you. Look out for the Bah, you caught my cash, but you won't catch me. Three's a crowd. Especially for a loner. The buffalo loner! These Blah. badgers have the bells! Stack them up! Sticky is right. We recovered the money, but it's covered in honey! But why does it taste like pineapple? Because it's <laughs> tropical, small batch, and expensive. If you say so. Ahem. All this money belongs to my bank. Bonjour, my banker buddy! The B-Team has retrieved your filch finances. Thank you. But it wasn't so sticky when it left the building. That's because every dollar is coated in two dollars worth of my honey. I demand reimbursement. I'm seeing an awful lot of frowning faces considering a bank robbery was just foiled. Maybe they had a taste of this weird honey. The unique taste comes from the island bees collecting nectar from different flowers. Boring! Who knows how many people could have bought that tainted honey? We saved you a costly recall. And for you, ma'am. Wonderful. One slightly less sticky dollar bill. And thousands more to go. Everything would have been better if you honey badgers hadn't stuck your noses in this. Honey badgers? How dare you! We're European! If you're European, find a restroom. You've made enough of a mess already. Hey, those are the badgers that put me in a big net. Uh me too. And me. They ruined the sign for my zoo. I stuck a jet ski in the park fountain. Those badgers crashed the market. The market? Oh no, my stocks! Not that market. Yes, yes. You're all very welcome. What's this? It's a missive from headquarters. My word! An invite to an official badger meeting. 
Undoubtedly to recognize our exemplary efforts in the field today. Undoubtedly. We don't need no stinking badgers. We don't stink. It's the pineapple scented honey. Peace in the city is restored, but there's never a day off for an agent of suit. <laughs> I'm going to the park somewhere else. <laughs> suit headquarters. Whoa, I didn't know suit had astronauts. Yep. After Cilantro designed our training simulators, she got sent off to a farm. Wait, when you send an animal to a farm, it means they become an astronaut? Yeah, she helped launch Spacesuit. I'm way less sad about my dog now. Hi, Medical! What's up? <laughs> Can you tell the General Inspector I can't make the meeting? Are you still posted at the old abandoned suit base? Inspector Vague said you don't have to fix it up anymore. Well, some vague entity is sending me instructions to get it working again. And besides, the antiques did come in handy during an alien invasion. Hi, Cilantro! It's me, Scarecrow. I am also still posted here because I'm literally stuck to a post. How are you? you? Oh, okay, Ivy's talk lesson later. For you in one book, Cilantro, but I bet she has an entire trilogy of puzzles for me to piece together. Maybe Zeb can come back and help when he's finished basic training. Just don't go missing in the field like Suit's first general inspector, G.I. Tracked. Believe me. I'm not going out in the fields. It's too corny out there. And c -Hube has been acting a little weird since I got back. It could just be from learning to function better. He's growing up. How so? He... Ha ha uh, ha ha ha. That is very true. If corns have ears and potatoes have eyes, then there are no secrets on a farm. He's moved on to the having an imaginary friend chapter in child development. Oh, gotta go, Monocle. Meeting's starting. Cilantro, what are you doing at the Badger meeting? Badger meeting? What are you talking about? Oh, everyone must be here to celebrate our recent success. No need to pretend it's a surprise party, Cilantro. We got the invitation. Invitation? See here? It says Badger meeting in a beautiful script thanks to our Vest custom printers. It's the only civilized way to communicate with command. Far more elegant than those staticky holograms. Let me see that. This says budget meeting. Your beautiful script is impossible to read. What? We don't care about budget. Why were we called in for some boring budget talk? Bongo, Marsha, sit down. Yes, of course, General Inspector Mo. Thank you for having us at this meeting that I'm sure will not be boring at all. I'll get right down to bronze ticks. I mean brass tacks. Suit has got a major spending problem. Custom made gadgets. Over the top vehicles. Six star hotel rooms. Oh, wait, I thought they only went up to five. Oh, you have to ask for the six star. It's the only way. And all of these expenses are being generated solely by Agents Bongo and Marsha. <laughs> You're using up 80% of the suit budget. That's a lot more than the 10% the gators use, and way more than the 2% for milk. What about the other department? The one Cilantro's in? She just got back from outer space! That can't be cheap. Inspector Vague won't give me any specifics on her department costs. It's all ballpark figures. We have a ballpark? Is it by the gym? Who, me? Uh, not you, Jim. Uh, we don't have a ballpark. I should hope not. It sounds terribly frivolous. Now, a cricket pitch, on the other hand. What's frivolous is how much was spent on your most recent mission alone. Which was a great success. And when are we going to get our medals for that? At the Badger meeting? There is no Badger meeting! You all say that, but there does seem to be a lot of focus on us Badgers. Look at all this equipment you wrecked! That giant net launcher itself cost more money than what was stolen. And which we returned. Along with some overpriced honey, if we're all so worried about cost now. Besides, we couldn't let a motorcycle gang get away with robbing a bank. 
The buffalo owner is an individual. His name is a portmanteau. I don't know that word, and I'm insulted if you think I'm going to look it up. It means it's a combination of buffalo and loner. A loner is not part of a gang. Also, he shouldn't be confused with buffalo owners. A car rental operation in Buffalo, New York. When it comes to great deals, this buffalo buffalo doesn't buffalo. Free wings with every lease. But we saw the police going after a biker gang. Sorry about the mix-up. We'll never assume all bikers are baddies again. In the heat of the moment, a spy has to make some assumptions. It's called following your gut! Your gut gave you bad directions. You could have at least returned your gear in one piece. Instead, you trashed the jet, Bongo. That was Marsha. Marsha wasted a jet ski and a snowmobile. That was Bongo. You've got us mixed up. Well, technically. That brings me to my next point. The merchandise. You spent a fortune producing two separate Bongo and Marsha plushies. When you look practically identical. Well, they're off model now. We look completely different. We'll have to throw out the entire inventory and produce all new dolls to match our updated designs. Meanwhile... The Gators share one plush doll, with Mango on one side, and Brash on the other. It's a two for one. How they did the different chins? Genius! The A in A-Team may stand for alligator, but they're also A-plus at keeping a low overhead. Usually, it's because they're in the sewer, so the overhead is underground. They might be investigators, but we're investigator! We may be badgers, but we're not so bad. Give us another mission. We'll prove it. Oh, you'll be going fishing, all right. I mean, you'll be on a mission, all right. Some place you can't get within a thousand miles of your suit expense account. There have been a bunch of bungalow burglaries in Bora Bora. You badgers can't botch that up too bad. I'm sending you off to be the Inspector Pacific's problem. I mean, Inspector Pacific's problem. This actually sounds like a vacation. Sea Orb, book us a pair of first class tickets to Bora Bora. Not this time. You're traveling <laughs> coach. He certainly did mean coach. If this is how we're traveling cross country, I can't imagine how we'll get across the ocean. Oh. Bongo and Marsha have been spending too much with Daddy's credit card. So to prove that they can solve missions without spending millions, Chief Inspector has sent them off to Bora Bora. What kind of trouble is waiting for them? And will they be able to solve the mission without using any expenses? We'll just have to wait and see on the next episode of Agents of Suit. Wow, these badgers are bad with their money. Agents of Suit is copyrighted by John Green. And it's published by First Second, an imprint of Roaring Brook Press. I can't wait for the next one. And if you can't wait either, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe. There's going to be more coming real soon. But for now, we're going to leave. Okay, bye.